Today I will be talking about the program evaluation that will be conducted on the One Northside Initiative. The One Northside Initiative began in 2014. It is operated and was founded by the Buell Foundation. The Buell Foundation focuses on the Pittsburgh and Allegheny County regions and it distributes the remainder of Henry Buell's uh, endowment. Historically, they have always funded um, and operated as a traditional philanthropy. They will fund projects from cultural to community to employment uh, and to education. But in 2014, they underwent a revisionary process and decided to adopt a place-based philanthropic model. What this did is they decided on one region of Pittsburgh that they wanted to allocate all their resources, and they decided to uh, choose the north side neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. The reasoning behind this is because Henry Buell spent a good portion of his life in the north side and they thought it would be beneficial to give back to that community. Uh, with all of this, they created the One North Side Initiative. One North Side is a resident driven initiative that aims to create long term sustainable change for all 18 neighborhoods in the north side. It hopes to connect residents to the necessary resources that are already in the community. During this process, they hope to build valuable relationships between the Buell Foundation, the residents, the businesses, and the community. The structure of the One North Side Initiative is broken down into five pillars. Those pillars include education, employment, health, place, and safety. Surrounding those pillars are a group of entities that strengthen and help achieve the goals within each pillar. Those entities include resident champions, the One North Side Council, Community Corps, Pillar Teams, and Anchor Institutions. For the purpose of this evaluation, due to time, resources, and data, uh, the education pillar will be the focus of this program evaluation. The education pillar has three core strategies. Those strategies include include holistic early child care, high-performing schools, and parent and community engagement. The purpose of the evaluation has three items, the first being understanding program theory of change. Uh, the Buell Foundation, like I said, is very new to place-based philanthropy, and um, it just changed to this in 2014. Therefore, it needs to be evaluated for the efficiency and the appropriateness of the strategy in the North Side <clears throat> the Buell Foundation also needs to determine if this model can be replicated in other education communities. Um, if it can be, then this will also lead to the literature behind place-based philanthropy. The third or the second item is accountability. The 18 neighborhoods, the Buell Foundation, the residents, and the community partners have been working um, a long time and putting a lot of effort into this project, and so they need to know if their efforts and resources are going to the right areas. Additionally, um, Buell needs to know if all 18 neighborhoods are being represented. In theory, they are being represented, but um, a program evaluation will get a closer look at if each neighborhood's needs are being met and uh, what the education pillar can improve. The third item is performance management. Buell has 15 more years of commitment in the north side and needs to conduct any necessary changes to their process before moving, moving on because um, many changes can occur before they hit their 20 year mark. They also need to identify the biggest barriers and hardships of their strategy. This uh, program evaluation seeks to answer five questions. The first question is, um, is the One North Side Education Pillar fulfilling its intended purpose and model that it was set out for? Are the affected neighborhoods being reached? Are the main actors fulfilling their duties in the Education Pillar? Does the vision of the Education Pillar encompass the needs of the community? And finally, what is helping or hindering the efficiency of the process in the Education Pillar? The evaluation design will utilize qualitative data through interviews, quantitative data, through survey results, and observations will be made from public and internal documents. Um, we believe that a process evaluation is best suited for the education pillar because it is still in the preliminary implementation um, area of the overall strategy, and um, an impact evaluation wouldn't 
be wouldn't suffice for the education pillar but uh, we also believe that uh, it would be, be better suited maybe at the 10-year mark or at the 20-year mark and again Buell has 15 more years of commitment therefore there's plenty of time to conduct an impact evaluation in the future. Next we will move on to the three strategies within the education pillar. Uh, the first one is holistic early child care, and this aims to prepare all children for school by the age of five. And uh, this approach um, would like to start an ambassador's program, which um, will deliver trainings and resources to education providers. It also includes a creation of an early learning center, uh, either a remodeled or newly built. And then finally, it also hopes to create a system of shared services in order to lower educational costs. The second strategy is high-performing schools. The goals within this strategy are to increase attendance rates, uh, implement a community schools approach, increase engagement between Northside principals, and construct a new high school for students. An example of information that will be needed are attendance rates at each school, and those attendance rates will be compared from year to year, uh, prior to One North Side Initiative and after. And um, uh, those records will either support um, progress or maybe indicate that attendance hasn't been the biggest priority. Um, <clears throat> another example of information is a timeline for the new high school. If there are any records to showcase um, preliminary plans, meetings, or any other documentation of the new high school, um, this will indicate that the new high school is in the works and it um, has a thorough plan for the future. Another example um, of information is the number of students enrolled in the north side is necessary and um, that will include an indicator to let us know which, how many students and the capacity of the education pillar. Um, and this will also help us determine how many students are being reached. The third strategy is parent and community engagement. This strategy revolves around um, the initiatives of creating an after school program that connects cultural institutions to after school providers. Uh, they also would like to create a parent university and launch an outreach program or campaign to showcase the success stories of the education pillar. <clears throat> the information that will be needed are the names of the specific cultural institutions and the number of participants in the after school um, program and the names of the cultural institutions and the number of participants will determine participation success. Um, some other information needed will be the number of parent, the number of participants in the parent university, and by um, identifying how many people are in, in the parent university, will also indicate the um, how many families are being served in the north side community. There are a number of data collection instruments that will be utilized. Um, we'll be needing a lot of internal documents and those documents will be provided by Buell. These include uh, community partners, uh, the, a list of assigned leaders, the Northside Chronicle, presidential reports of the Buell Foundation, and the contact sheet that um, is provided through Buell. External documents will be available through um, the Pennsylvania Department of Education and those public records will include school attendance rates, dropout rates, credit completion, and other valuable data. Uh, additionally, community census data is public and will be utilized for this program evaluation. Another resource for this for data collection is the website. The website for One North Side in, provides additional information such as the presidential reports, the um, individual progress reports for the pillars, and the Northside Chronicle. The grant information that is needed will be provided by the New Sun Rising um, consultant firm. And these, this firm um, handles all the mini grants for the One Northside project. And those mini grants are $1,000 or less. Uh, the Buell Foundation will provide information on organizational grants, which are um, a lot larger grants and only for um, larger organizations instead of individuals. 
A survey will be conducted, specifically 200 surveys will be sent out to households who have active students in K through 12 grades. Finally, um, interviews will take place between um, the program evaluators and the internal leaders of the pillar, specifically leaders of each initiative. So the leaders of parent university, the, the leaders of the after school cultural in, um, program just to give a few examples. The timeline of this program evaluation will be conducted within six months. The first month will be forming the evaluation committee. Uh, the committee will be split up into multiple teams. Those teams include an external team, internal team, survey team, interview, and interview team. Um, additionally, during this month, those um, teams will get familiar with the Beale Foundation and the One North Side project. During month two, the external and internal teams will begin to locate core documents and the survey teams will begin to research previous survey data, specifically ones that were conducted in 2014 when, when, they began, when the Beale Foundation began this process. And then the interview team will develop a list of leaders they would like to interview. During month three, external and internal teams will create a file system of information with the core documents the survey team will start to create the survey questions and the interview questions will also be written. Uh, during this month, survey, the survey and interview teams will also be trained on how to properly conduct a survey and interview. During month four, uh, the surveys and interviews will be conducted and also the organization of the documents for each project in the education pillar will take place. During month five, uh, the data analysis will take place of the survey results and um, the documentation of the organization of trends and patterns of the internal and external, external information, as well as any in, uh, valuable information that was collected through the interviews. Finally, during month six will be the publication and presentation to Buell and the One North Side stakeholders. <laughs>